Hi everyone, my name is Tony Olay, and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Talk. So I keep getting comments on my channel telling me, they broke it! How could Bethesda break the game? And I'm not gonna lie, they actually did break the game. As you see here, update is paused. How did I do this? Well, I'm gonna show you. Alright, so here's how you prevent Bethesda from breaking your game in the future. Number one, if you have an older edition I'm not going to say your game's not broken now. There's probably a tutorial you may have found. But we'll just go ahead and make this. Number one, I want you to you make sure from now on if you download Skyrim Special Edition, you make a backup of your data folder. Always have a backup for, for anything you do, whether it's modding or whatnot. You always want a backup. Number two, also back up your, your exe files from your previous version. What does this do? This keeps you, basically you just can drag and drop them back in your, your folder and then get back to playing your game. Anytime Bethesda updates their stinking creation kit, it ends up breaking these files sometimes, and then we have to wait for SKC64 to update before it's able to work, make it work again. So the thing you're going to want to do is right click on this, right, go to your Steam folder, go to properties, go to updates, and then click, click here, right, for your updating your game. Update this game when I launch it. What does that mean? Basically, you're playing your game. You're, you're going to need SK664 games only, though. And you only update your game basically when you click the play launcher. So let's say I click this, it'll start updating it. So you want to avoid this completely. Just play the game through, let's say, Nexus Mod Manager or XKSE. You can just play the game normally through that, and you're good to go. That's the way you want to save your game, guys, for the future. It's, I mean, it's a quick, simple fix, but Bethesda's going to keep updating their creation kit, and there's really nothing we can do about it. I mean, I wish I could tell them, STOP IT! STOP IT! STOP IT! STOP IT! Okay, but unfortunately, that's just not going to happen. They're going to keep updating the creation kit, and hopefully, and unfortunately, with the updates, they're probably going to keep breaking these. So while SK64, you know, takes time to update, and this is probably the best way, in all honesty, to basically keep your game from breaking, save your data folder, save your exe files. That's pretty much the best advice I can give you. Everything else should just fall into place and work properly. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and um, uh, subscribe. If you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. Once again, my name is Tony Thanks for the click, and I'll see you next time.